Well, happy January 2nd, 2023, everybody. Just a quick flashback. A year ago this morning at about 7.30, I got here to the office right here, okay? Artful Garden, 222 East Main, and I walked out and Mayor Callaway was here with our firefighters and uh, Lucia from our dress shop, from the Lucia Isabel connection, collection, and the firemen were bringing out all of her dresses onto this sidewalk. So that was the morning of the fire. The building was still burning at that time, and so it's been a year. And uh, I'm gonna just show you what's kinda happened in the last year real quickly. Let's uh, take a quick break. So I just moved down the street a little bit. So obviously the building's gone, um, but in that, in the last year, the U.S. Bank second and main project has moved ahead and gotten to this point where the rooftop deck's almost done. I would say, I can't, I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna say by April or May, this building should be done and these four restaurants will be open, They'll transform this corner forever. Over here on this side of the street, Rustic Rendition had to move out as a result of the fire, as did the Jensen Law Office. So they've been gone a year. Rustic Rendition, I don't think is coming back to downtown, sadly. Um, and the Jensen Law Firm moved over to the 1890s building and they will be back. It sounds like it'll be June or something like that. So we'd be grateful to have them back, but it's been a year and people thought this could be, go quicker. A lot of us knew at that time it was not gonna be that long. So when the fire hit, these buildings, including our building, all the way down to uh, the end of lay stuff, were pinned in behind a safety wall for about five weeks because the wheel building was high enough up here. People felt it was gonna fall, hit the street and break all the glass and, and hurt people over there. In the last year, restoration work has, has been moving along and now that the building is gone, the old 1890s to 1910 era buildings are having to be rebuilt. So the Jensen Law Firm's well on its way. And the mess has been cleaned up and it looks like the uh, wheel property is being prepared for a food cart pod. And just turning this way, in that shortly after the fire, La Mexteca, Oaxaca, our friends, uh, Lucia and Jose, they lost their space here and moved back to this, or kept the main space. And then Weikert, who was right here where I'm standing, Weikert was able to negotiate to come back across the street about mid-year. So we're grateful to have them back. Play stuff came back to full strength. Um, and then we had Cove Yoga moved in, but sadly they're uh, reportedly moving out uh, in the next week or so. So they're not going to make it. We had a lot of uh, disruption to business down here. And frankly, the cash flows and the incomes were just too hard for people. Arcade 2084 is still there with Gimri's. We'll go down the block there in a second. But in one of the biggest stories, the beloved Hillsborough Pharmacy um, closed for the first time uh, in 70 or 80 years since it moved here. And inside, there was fire damage, water damage. Um, we can't see inside today. Inside work continues um, to s replace the, the ceilings uh, to confirm the wall that was there. And you can see the construction crews saved this very important piece of architecture there. The uh, inside the building anyway, guys, is the soda fountain. It will be coming back. It looks like June. And then Norman, our friend from Crystal Heart, he will be back in this building. He currently is down at his gallery down here and that's worked out well. And in the last year, the Venetian has had to go through some business changes. So they're no longer open for uh, meals on a regular basis. They are hosting events and there has been some live music of late, but no doubt the fire and the disruption caused by the fire put them in uh, some tough shape as well. Um, not financially, but just in terms of what they can do. So their mission and what they're doing down here between second and third on main has changed. Also in the last year, uh, Roll Tide Properties, Glencoe Grads and myself and some others were able to bring the Blue Ox Axe Storing Pub here to town and this building's going through a facelift here. Um, this is going to be, this is the old Clem's Hideaway, 
Uh, it was Riley Caves Hardware Store way back in the day, and I think this is going to be a fun addition. Uh, the front is getting a glass set of doors that will fold open, or their windows. Nano windows will open completely. Other than that, our friends at Colors and the Bennetts and Jeffrey Eichen have kept going. Piccolo Mundo has had an important role in keeping this part of the downtown going, as have the Oddfellows and uh, Crystal Heart Boutique. Uh, and of course, the Hayes, uh, the stalwart of all businesses that work on uniforms and letterman's jackets. And Valeska and her husband are doing a great job there. So it has been a year, a lot of changes. Uh, we're still missing, like I say, four or five places. Uh, the Wheels building, uh, gone forever, about 30,000 square feet. And in its place for now will be a food cart pod, we think, um, in talking with Jay Wheel. So look for mid-year for the pub to be open, the U.S. Bank's building, uh, second in Maine, they call that. Those folks will be here joining the party. Uh, these two empty buildings and then the Jensen Law Firm and their group will be back. We're probably going to have some changes here at mid-block, but like a lot of years, constant change in downtown Hillsboro. The fire was a big part of that. And I just want to remember Ronnie Knapp, who perished in the fire. Uh, known as Ron Dog, it uh, it was so sad that he had to perish just because he decided to take a nap in the top floor of the building. But so it is with life in general. Dirk Knitzer of the Hillsboro Herald is documenting the changes in the last 12 months downtown Hillsboro between second and third. Take care, everyone. Happy 2023.